Scandi countries and, and Denmark and it is very small so so if you want to do experiments and this area is just too small and, and, and you're just becoming the weirdo. My background is um, I come from uh, the countryside and a bit rainy, mountain, it's a little bit uh, the Danish uh, Twin Peaks, you know. When I was 17, I, I, I left that uh, little town to, to go to the second biggest town in Denmark uh, uh, called Aarhus, to start studying. Uh, got a completely, you know, culture shock of uh, music and all kind of weird people. Many years after, I ended up in at uh, Central St. Martins in London, which also had a little bit of the same effect because it's such a big city and and coming from Denmark. Uh, but uh, London was uh, studying there. It's like it took a while as well just to get uh, get a little bit. Uh, confident about uh, and you feel like you're drowning in between but there's so many people you know it everything went really well with my uh, like uh, doing my degree over there and, and I did a hell lot of things and I did all the you know nearly everything you could do press wise in the UK like the days and the face when that was existing uh, all those underground you could say magazine and then slowly moving up to more like uh, mainstream uh, press like Guardian, uh, The Times and suddenly uh, the peak was in the morning telly and the British telly and, and then deciding to, to move back and then coming back to, to, to Copenhagen. Sometimes I'm putting, put into this uh, category of uh, Danish design. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, if I should categorize Danish design or Danish fashion, maybe I'm not sure I would be in there. But it's a nice little base and it's worked out. And sometimes we've been talking about, like, hey, maybe we should we have a store in New York. So it could also be, should we set up a little New York studio? But uh, without knowing, I'm pretty much, uh, I'm probably more Dane than I, I think I am, you know. to have a little base here we can we can go abroad we can go to Mexico we can do our things poof, go back and plan from the countryside it's like having a job education and something really you know something really safe something you know that hey this is uh, this is stable a stable situation you know then going into this bigger town, a little bit of extra noise, then going to a really big metropole in Europe uh, like London with a lot of noise. Moving back to a little bit more quiet, but opening a store in a very noisy area in New York, doing stuff in Paris, which is also a bit uh, noisy, cigarette noisy. If I should follow that system, I should probably move back to silent in the end, maybe. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. Farmering. What, what we are good at in Denmark is just uh, tell stories. You know, when I had, when I had a, a, a restaurant like Norma and other good things going on, you have great architects like Bjarke Engels and Big and stuff like that. You have Half Dane in uh, Wolofu Elias on you, you know. They're setting the bar so high that it, it's very in inspirational and aspirational for us as uh, creators to, to try and, and, and follow up with these guys. <laughs>